the Ellen Whitehall. I've heard the story about the Ellen Whitehall and thought, well, that makes sense. Basically, you're dumping a forest and what the forest has provided straight underneath a tree. Right? If it's not planted in the forest, it doesn't have all those nutrients. So we dig a big hole, a metre by a metre by a whole metre, and we fill it up with all different ingredients, just like I showed on this video. So I did that, and the first avocado tree I planted, it's a little bit sad, actually, because it died. I was very disappointed. Ellen White, what's going on, I thought. And so that was very sad. Looks like it's starting to rain again. I might just grab my hat. <gasps> okay. Okay. And the reason why it died is because on this hill, the topsoil is only about eight inches thick. So I dug down through the topsoil and I kept that aside to mix into my hole afterwards, just like the recipe says. And then the rest of the time I was digging into clay. So basically I dug a, a, a clay hole about this deep. And when the rain comes down and goes in my hole, it fills the hole up. So all that goodness from the forest and everything, which is down there, it just gets waterlogged and we get root rot. And I thought, okay, well, let's try a banana plant. They like lots of water, but it died as well. We've got another Ellen White hole down here. I know this is a little dwarf banana and I'm a big guy, but still this banana has been in this Ellen White hole for about eight months. So you can see, the first one I tried, it died. So second time I'm trying it, I'm putting it down this here. It seems to be alive. So maybe this clay hole wasn't as deep as that clay hole. So when you're digging down to make your Ellen White hole one metre deep, just make sure that you've got a lot of topsoil you're digging through or you don't hit the clay, basically. I mean, what else can we say about that? So then I thought, well, that's it for the Ellen White hole in this position. I might make it part of the lawn. But then I put my hemp plant in to see how that would go. But as you can see, the size of this one compared to the size of that one, you can see I'm standing beside it. It's probably, I reckon it'd be getting close to four meters now, and it's still only a little teenager. Uh, I'm gonna dig this hole up, and uh, we're gonna look and see what the soil looks like underneath. Okay, I'm gonna take all this grass away, start off with, and I've got a little pot to put my hemp plant in. So let's just take this grass away first. I might just put this on the swales somewhere else. We're lucky I might see a rainbow here soon because the sun's coming out now as it's raining. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna just take this little hemp plant out and put it in the pot and put it somewhere else. Oh look, check this out. See, you can see the cicada season's at towards its end now because we're seeing a lot of dead cicadas. So that one there is a female. It doesn't have a little red vibrator thingy on the bottom. So that's female. She's laid her eggs hopefully up in the trees and um, they're all gonna die off soon. And then we might have some more peace and quiet up here on the hill. This soil looks pretty good. I see. You can have a smell of that one. See, that smells okay. Smell that? So I'll keep that. There's a, bit of, there's a bit of root there from something. Something's trying to grow through there. I think I've hit that rock. Ugh. That was the big anchor stone. That could have been the problem, stopping everything from going any further, but I don't think so. So we just keep digging a bit. It looks like it's, there's roots down there. The soil looks pretty good. I just have a smell of this soil. It smells fine. It smells a bit clay. Okay, now we're getting into that level where my stones are. It doesn't look like to me to be rotten. There's the crusher dust. Well, no, it smells like dirt to me. Do you remember what I buried in this hole? part of the pelvis bone of the wallaby. You can see the bone. <laughs> there we go, look, that's the, um, the leg bone of the wallaby there. Right now, I'm at the bottom of the hole, because I can see the clay there. 
You can see all the roots down here. They're really fine. There's plenty of roots down here. You can see little, little animals down here even. So, so my assumption that the whole thing rotted was wrong. And you can see all the roots coming down from all the different trees in my food forest. I can see lots of fungi or lots of mycelium going on down there in that wood. And that's a really good thing. So I don't know why my tree didn't survive. Maybe it was that big stone. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the hole here. Smell this. Now that smells like nice soil. There's nothing wrong with it. I'll give you a little quick look if you like. Nice and crumbly. So. Hmm. I think I want to take it away. I think I want to level this out so I can mow my mower over the whole thing. So what did we find out on this video? I found out that uh, it wasn't rotten at the bottom of the hole. I found out that there was lots of little roots coming in this hole looking for the food that's in here. I've never seen down the bottom of a hole that's been dug in the Ellen White style. So I think I'll just level it out and make it part of the grass again. I must say that the fig tree that I planted in the Ellen White hole is doing very well. I'll show you. I'm in the middle of building my swales here and I've got to the place where I want to put my fig tree and I'm going to plant my fig tree this time a different way than I planted the mango tree I'm going to plant it the Ellen White method it's uh, from the 1800s as far as I understand uh, you can find it on the internet if you search Ellen White planting tree method um, apparently it's a woman in the 1800s who got a dream and she had a dream she woke up from the dream and she wrote a recipe down how to plant a tree Right. I've seen it a couple of times on the internet um, and it looks pretty interesting so I'm going to plant my fig tree the Ellen White method and first I've got to do is uh, I've got to dig a big hole so I'll start digging a big hole and they say like uh, like a meter by a meter by a meter we go and plant a fig tree Ellen White style That one's ready soon, but this tree is loaded with them, loaded with them, loaded, loaded, loaded. Look at them all. That's because I planted it in the Ellen White hole, but I lifted it up and made a mound on the top of the Ellen White hole. Figs, I love figs. This one's just hanging there, ready to be eaten. See? Whoa. See, look at that, yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, straight off the tree. Mmm. I reckon I'll probably get a whole bucket full of figs out of my fig tree. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill this hole up. I think I'll keep the stone, because I like that one. I might put that up near the fireplace. And um, I fill up this hole and I'll level it out and I'll make that part of my lawn again. So when I'm mowing my lawn, I can just whip over it without thinking about going over this big mound. And um, oh, another thing I'll show you in a second is my mango tree. I'll do that on my next episode, okay? So I hope you learned something from this one. Good luck with the Ellen White method of digging holes for your fruit trees. I hope it works for you. And um, now we know what it looks like underneath the Ellen White hole. I've never seen that before. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I'm going to get to work now and fill in this hole. I can't understand why three consecutive trees didn't like this hole. So if you do have any ideas, please let me know in the comments because then we might be all the wiser. So yo yeah, yo yeah, Ellen White style, but be careful when you've got clay soil everybody. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like my channel, then you can always press the subscribe button. I don't usually say that, but I will this time. Okay? But still, I always say have a nice day, and I'll catch you later. Enjoy your lives. Enjoy your lives, because it's important. <laughs>